नमस्कार आय एम लेफ्टनंट डॉक्टर प्रशांत आंबेकर फ्रॉम धरमपेट एम पी देव मेमोरियल सायन्स कॉलेज नागपूर आय विल बी डिस्कसिंग सी ओ टू लेवल रायझिंग ऑन अर्थ टुडे विच मे लीड टू एन अनादर आयस एज सो वॉट इज दिस सी ओ टू सी ओ टू इज नथिंग बट एन ऑक्साइड ऑफ कार्बन and as oxides are very much stable in our environment this co2 also is very much stable it has no uh, smell it is an oxide so it cannot be burned it cannot be reactive so therefore it is very difficult to detect the co2 also now what is the problem as it is an oxide stable in environment so what is the problem in its rising so basically co2 molecule oscillates in infrared range so as there is certain uh, heat provided to that molecule it will simply increase the oscillational amplitude and therefore it can accumulate a large amount of heat that leads to rise in global temperature so we call it as global warming scientists have uh, collected data since uh, early 50s or something so if you look at this particular level of co2 ppm part per million 1950 it it was 310 ppm whereas while increasing up to 2020 it is going up to 417 ppm and more so you can see this graph and whether in year 3000 what would be its level we can imagine so if happen if it happens uh in such a way the rise uh, will be uh, very much and therefore we may lead to another ice age so what are its consequences if co2 rises beyond certain limit so we can see that uh, sea level rise even the coastal area cities are in problem global temperature rise that we are also observing flash floods drought irregular monsoon and vanishing coral reefs in a short time and many more uh, problems we are facing due to this rise in co2 level so what is what are the main culprits behind this rise so basically factories such as cement thermal power station steel factories and most importantly fuel burning by automobile sector continuous tree cutting and uh, these are the reasons which are contributing to the co2 rise so what to do so there are remedies as we know that nature has given us a very good oxygen source that is trees so if you increase the number of trees or plant the trees they will absorb the co2 and produce the o2 which is most important for our life and therefore if you plant large number of trees if you reduce the vehicular use so for distance uh, less than say 1 km or 2 km you can walk either or you can use bicycle then if you use solar power for electricity requirement instead of this coal burning and most importantly if you educate people and tell them these kind of facts and uh, shift to a uh, renewable energy sources like solar power 
then we can reduce the CO2 emission and also the level of uh, CO2 on the earth.